Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn it love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And yeah, man, uh, another gameplay. Uh, this one was an ultimate team. Um, as you see us come out here on first down and just mm -hmm. get absolutely thrashed. <laughs> For, I mean, like a simple drag and he out. So, yeah, uh, he was out, yeah, for you, for my, uh, never mind, <laughs> I ain't going there. But, yeah, man, so, um, yeah, yeah, these gameplays, yeah, I got a, I got a lot. So, so they'll be coming in the next few days, got a whole lot of more, as my man Clubber Lane used to say. Um, boy, nice pick by Sean. Oh, yeah, that was the one with the nasty Hezzy. Um, yeah, Clubber Lane was probably... One of the greatest boxers in movie history. Um, yeah, never mind. I, yeah, I was gonna go somewhere with that, but nah, we don't worry about that. Man. Yeah, yeah, y'all look up Clubber Lane. It's played by Mr. T, by the way. You know, one of my favorite actors and people of all time. The Clubber Lane character was for real. Anyway, um, all right. So yeah, you see me get the uh, I don't know how many 99 yard pick six right there. Um, I played, man, my, my inside the red zone defense is tough. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I have some really good red zone schemes uh, in, in terms of coverages that, that really um, take away a lot of the field, especially when you can force a guy to um, to throw. But, yeah, uh, as he throws one up, throws me another book right there. So we come back, you know, uh, running off the left side a little bit with JT, uh, John Taylor. Try to cut up inside right there. Of course, it's third and inches. Uh, we were able to catch him out there in the flats. However, really good down the field blocking by my wide receivers, by uh, Maserati Marv and Keon Coleman on that play. So we get it out in the flats to uh, C-Mac. You know, let him do his thing, you know, give a little leg and take it away, you know, as they do. Uh, so at the end of the first quarter, 7 nothing. you know, we're up uh, with the ball. Feeling pretty good as I catch him out here with a little scheme toxicity RPO. Uh, same scheme, yeah, right, cheap motion, left side, ooh, nasty move. <laughs> nasty move by Jennings right there. Um, yeah, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do the science of running virtual, should be out by Sunday. Um, watch this step, oh, well, they, they cut it off. But yeah, it's, it's, I'm just gonna show y'all from start to finish what you should be doing with your with your running game. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's some some good informative stuff as always. All right, but anyway, I don't know why I didn't switch the uh, down there to Bosa on that play. That's what I was intending to do, but I, for some reason I thought he was running the ball. Um, is I catch him right there, you know, with a little bit of pressure right there on the rollout on fourth and six. Um, he had a guy wide open. He just couldn't get his footwork to get the throw together as I, man, what in God's name was that? <laughs> if you go back and look at the replay, I was throwing to the tight end. I don't even know how the ball even remotely went over there. But anyway, I already know what that means. That normally means that, yeah, when they start doing stuff like that, then yeah, stuff like that is subject to follow is, yeah, he just dislocated my shoulder. Um, yeah, he, he, he just climbed night trains back right there, pause or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, that was not good. But he comes back out, uh, corner out right there. I felt like I had good coverage, just could not get the click on. And so, down here in you know this is this is this is the place where I feel like I play the best D. Look at the user right here. Look at Taylor, just right from the middle linebacker spot. Yeah, I, I have the middle or anything that's just going that way. Um, as we just stand there and watch him walk into the end zone as if we didn't see him walking towards the end zone. Yeah. All right. So 
Still up 14-7. However, uh, came out on first down. Terrible throw. I um, mean, terrible read. I, I think I hit the wrong button. I don't know what happened. Uh, but came back, was able to recover on second down. Nice corner route combo right there to Keon Coleman. Um, good pickup, you know, get us down here uh, on the cusp of scoring range. And so, of course, you know, as fate would have it, or, you know, as, as the script script is written, written, um, yeah, I, I got to gotta throw a pick. That should have been actually, probably, I'm surprised it wasn't a pick six. But anyway, uh, still playing good defense, still up 14-7. You know, least I can do is just hold him to a field goal. Uh, as he tries to run a toss right there, look at Rasul coming up with with really good physicality, uh, way to stay on that outside shoulder and take away you know what was needed. Uh, so, yeah, Sean Taylor with yet another pick right there, um, playing that curl flat to absolute perfection. That's the reason why I say your curl flat should be deeper. Um, I, what? Like, how did we drop that? And then we made the wrong read right there. Uh, we had the streak, like, open for a touchdown. Of course, we missed. Um, and so, what are we at? Third and 10 right here. And, and, yeah, as fate would have it, you know, we turn the ball back over. Got to keep the game close and do what we do. Um, good pick by him. Good defense. This guy did not um, – he did not take the bait with the corner route. He actually stayed up, up the field and was able to cut off the deep crosser right here. Good defense. Um, just – you know, end of the half stuff, he had to go deep. And so I just basically stayed in the prevent or whatever I was in. Uh, thanks, me and Joe. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. So we get the ball back in the second half. Second half, no harm, no fouls. So he kicks it off. And uh, um, um, uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, where was I? Yeah, yeah, nice nice fake by him, and yeah, of course he's going to score there. I mean, who cares if I had a guy standing there? You know, who cares? And yeah, and so just like that, <laughs> we're all tied up at 14, you know, after I, yeah, I had a chance to just put this game away, and so that that's normally what happens when you don't. Um, yeah, you play with fire, you will get burned. And so 14-14, um, got to shake that off, you know, get my mental back right. Catch him out here in the flats with Maserati Marv. Pick up the first down. And so we're back in scoring range. So the worst thing that's going to happen out of here is we're going to get three. And then, yeah, you know, he gives up the ghost in the middle. And we pick up seven right here. And so now we're still back up. Still up by seven. Yeah, I'm still pissed because I really feel like this game should be over. But as he goes across the middle, plays some good defense right there. I don't know why in the world I ran to the other side. I didn't even have to cry. That was not my assignment at all. I should have been four yards in front of that pass to pick that off. That was that was totally my fault right there. Um, yep, could not get the adjustment off. And, yeah, he catches me with a nice drag physical run right there off, you know, on the left side. And then he catches me in the seam right here. Hey, like I said, man, got to, hey, building uh, consistent defensive principles, understanding what you're supposed to be doing in that situation is – my guys just totally run into each other, and he gives up the ghosts um, on the post route to tie the game. Oh, no, that, was, that wasn't a touchdown. Um, to get the ball down to the one, yeah, right there. Oh, good play. Man. I shot the gap really well on that uh, as he comes back next time off the left side. Um, nice fake and go. Uh, tried to hit me with a drag back to the left. I had like two or three guys sitting over there. All right, good position. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just some of the, some of these games you just have to understand when the game is like, all right, you know, just it's, it's gonna be whatever it is. You 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 have to be able to, like you you have to be able to put your emotions in check playing Madden. If you're trying to play to win, you your emotions have to you have to take your emotions out of it and just sometimes you just have to know what's what. Um, as you see me hit him with a corner route right there. Uh, and believe it or not, I threw that ball exactly where I wanted to throw it. I mean, precisely back to the inside. That's the reason why I was able to click on. Um, in the third quarter, all tied 21-21. Great blocking right there. Ooh, nice move by C-Mac. Good pickup of about 15 to 17 yards. Back off the left side again um, with JT. A uh, good pickup of about 12 to 13. And so, we, we you know, yeah, for, for all this gone wrong, we're still in a position to, to win the game. Yeah, obviously. Um, did I have a chance to blow him out? Oh, yeah. But 
at the same time, it, it's like I you have to just play through these things. And so that's, that's the thing that I want you guys to always understand. If your mechanics are good, trust me, chances are you're, you're playing at a deficit anyway in terms of how the game is going to treat you. And so when taking all that into consideration, there's a reason why they're treating you that way. But at the same time, if you stick, you have a good scheme, you have good uh, consistent defensive principles like so, understanding how to play your zones, how to take away certain routes, the seams, make it look like certain things are going to be open, then trust me, your mechanics are eventually going to enable you to do the simple things like this and make the yardage that you need to make. Stop playing for touchdowns, start playing for yardage. Stuff like right, like that right there is, yeah, you're going to get cheated. It's going to happen. But you, you have to learn how to be mentally tough enough to play through it. Trust me, I do it every time I pick the game up. Like some days it's like I just have to sit here and question my own sanity of like, why do you keep doing this? Because you know what's, what's about to happen. And so I, I've just learned how to play through it and play around most of the stuff. And then, you know, when it boils down to to you know, being able to make plays, I can just rely on my mechanics and know for a fact that when the play is there to be made and, and you know, uh, the curve isn't on <laughs> or whatever, I know I'm going to make the plays. I know I can throw that high ball. I know I can throw it to his back shoulder, not just throw it. Watch me throw it to the back shoulder where he has to turn around and go get it and the defender has to change direction where he can't elevate. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm going for the cheap touchdown where I felt like I had it right then. And of course, no. It's just what they do. But it is what it is. You, you fight through it. You, you figure out a way to, to incorporate your scheme into what you're doing, what you're doing. And, you know, nine times out of ten, if your mechanics are good, you know, if you're better than another guy, then you're going to win. You know what I'm saying? Tell him Mike. Mike is actually telling y'all to go pick up one of these books right here like the mechanics bible or the college football guy that's what mike just said did you go back and replay that and read his lips i promise that's what he said anyway man it's your boy coach i'm out